This is Wanda Studio and we have with us Owais Nakfi who is the uh, Managing Director of Motorsport. Something really different, uh, Owais. Hi Tanya, good to be here. Um, yeah, the company is called Omni Motorsport and what, basically what we're intending to do is build Pakistan's first international standard uh, karting, motorsport facility and specifically a karting circuit of international standards, yeah. It's actually because I'm, I'm the first Pakistani professional race car driver. Wow. So that's how I got into it, that there's a vision of how to develop the sport in Pakistan and provide a platform um, for racing culture to develop in a safe and professional environment. Okay. Obis, how important is it to actually be passionate about something that you're starting to yeah, make into a business? It's incredibly important. I mean, there's three things that I believe are very important. Passion vision and opportunity and we have that we have all three of those we at Omni Motorsport I'm very passionate having been a racer myself having raced professionally at different circuits throughout the world I know what's required and what what we'd like to do is build a facility which incorporates all the best elements from different tracks around the world and make something which which is which is significant wow so yeah. you're in developmental stage right we're, now. we're in a stage where we've secured 10 acres in Karachi city, five minutes from anywhere in Karachi. Wow. It's a breathtaking location, and I don't use the word lightly. When you step into that location, you have a view of the creek, you have a view of the Arabian Sea. It's on a hilltop which slopes down, so the location's fantastic. It's safe, it's secure, and um, easily accessible. That's the main issue, getting 10 acres in Karachi, the land. Now the next step that I'm looking at is securing the funding, the investment to develop and construct the facility. So that's. So how do you intend to go about that? Are um, you looking at more traditional uh, uh, approaches like I'm banks looking at, or? No, I actually don't want to take any debt. Debt makes it difficult um, in the sense that debt, you know, with the interest payments and all, we don't want to go with debt. I want to go with investors, partners who invest in the in the business, and then help it to grow either private equity, venture capitalists, or angel investors. Those are the three ways that I'm looking at. Okay, yeah. because there are a lot of young entrepreneurs out there who also don't want to go through traditional methods of financing right. because right. They, they're long-term things, you know? you. So, right. So um, what advice would you have to them as well at, at well, this point? I would say from my experience, like, tap all sources. Do not leave anybody out. Approach anyone and everyone. Um, you know, I have in fact approached the parent company of Wanda, Abraj Capital. Um, I've approached other investment houses out of the UAE as well, uh, high net worth Pakistanis, um, private equity funds, venture capitalists, um, uh, CEOs and presidents. So whoever you know, however you get them, don't be afraid to make a cold call. You know, tell them who you are, email them, call them, set up an appointment, approach them, pitch to them. You know, that's why I'm here at this conference and I'm um, hoping to network with a few and, and see how it goes. What's your plan? How do you see your business growing or perhaps, you know, setting uh, a trend in the market in the next right. four or five years? Um, the great thing about our business is the entry barriers are very high. Two main barriers are getting a a la the land, 10 acres. And the other is the technical knowledge and expertise. We have both. Nobody else has those in Pakistan. So what we envision is once we set up our facility, we won't have any competitors coming up. We can create a monopoly. We can franchise the model. Take if Once we open in Karachi, we can go to Lahore and open a facility. We can go to Islamabad and open another facility. So we can sort of, as far as motorsports is concerned, we can corner the market, develop the sport, and be the only first and only movers in it. So you have a plan of attack? We have a plan of attack. And additionally, we won't be limited to motorsports. Because the facility we've acquired has ample land, we will add other recreational facilities. But not traditional things, not like a bowling alley or ice skating, which has already been done. But we're aiming towards a more high adrenaline, a thrill-seeking, and very high-tech kind of recreation. So, Aves, you know, generally the, the economic situation isn't the best, right? right? right. But um, you're going into something that's entertainment. Do you think people have that kind of disposable income? Like, No matter what the economic condition of any country is, two things will always work. Food and entertainment. People always want to eat. 
and people will always be looking, no matter how depressed they are, they always want to go watch a movie, go party, go do something for fun which will take their mind off of their stress. And that's what we want to give them, an avenue where they can have fun, relax, and not worry about the daily grind. Great. And what's your message just to other people who are yeah. Maybe students even, you know? Right. Getting into the field, looking for something that hasn't right. been tapped into. Um, messages, believe, you, you have to believe in yourself. Um, I, it doesn't matter how many people tell you this won't work or why it won't work. The more, you, the more negatives you um, get, use that to, to energize yourself and use it to turn it into a positive. Learn from it and just believe in yourself and know, know your business on your fingertips. Thank you, Vis. Thank you so much yeah. for being here. Thank you for having me.